Oh, I only got a like I have four decks that I can play right now that are like built. So all right, I'll bring a start with I'm sure it. I'll bring a fun one. Oh, jank. Is that mono palp? Mono palp. Two reps, baby, with an eight-year-old. Well, we are <laughs> we are live on YouTube. Welcome to Late Night Gaming. I'm here with Mick Bobber and our special guest this week, Wu. Welcome to Late Night Gaming, Wu. What's going on? Good to be here and hang out with you guys. Sweet. Uh, Wu, do you want to tell our viewers, anybody that... Maybe there's a couple people that watch our channel that haven't heard of your yeah. channel yet. Maybe you could just tell us tell us about uh, or tell the viewer a little bit about the content they can uh, see over there. Yeah, so I've just been trying to do mostly like competitive geared deck builds and a little bit of like off brand stuff. Like I, I made like just live on recently YouTube. a um. like build arounds and like things that you can might try to do competitively with them. And then like, I, uh, just like some ideas for stuff like that. But mostly I focus on like ways to win, even if it's going to be with like not top tier decks, like I'll try to at least test as much as I can with them before like throwing something up there. So like the grand inquisitor deck I video I made is like a good example of that. It's like, no, I'm, I'm not recommending you go uh, to a 5K with it, but I played it enough into, like, Bobas and Sabines to know that at least you can win sometimes with it and, like, it, trying to make it the best I can possibly make it um, in the context of the current metagame. So Wu, Wu's a... He's sort of like... You, you want to choose those little off, uh, uh, seldom-used leaders and see if you can get them to work and then hopefully inspire the viewer to go out to their local and peel a couple wins off of some meta decks sounds about like sounds about right yep. something like yeah, that yeah that, that's half of it and then the other half is no let's just play the really good stuff and try to okay. break the game and yeah there's some <laughs> of that like, too yeah. okay yeah. yeah there's not like like the pal blue deck i recently made i think is actually something that i would say like if you think you can like avoid a swarm of sabine i think that that would be very well positioned for instance to like spike a giant event because i think it's incredibly favored into like boba it's favored into like the iden krennic control decks uh so it's like can you maneuver can you like maybe dodge sabine or maybe peel like one game off of her in like a big tournament and then like hope that the other the sabines kind of get fizzled out or don't show up that day or something it's, it's pretty wild <laughs> it's a pretty wild game plan to try to show well, up to it's what, you know, <laughs> but, sometimes you know, it's sometimes. what you need right like, yeah, or maybe you just punt that loss in the swiss and then hope that you know she just doesn't make it to the top cut cut or makes it on a different side of the bracket from you or you know like i i did i didn't make it so that it would lose like 90 percent. i think you can win like 30 percent of the time so that that might be enough to to get there in one round or something yeah it's uh palp is definitely an interesting guy i've been playing with him a little bit uh this is just kind of a i you know i i was on the mono green for a while with tarkin and then this guy came out i'm like i don't want this piece of cardboard on my table but I, I do, you know, I do like that he has that ability to steal a unit at the end of the game. You know, I think that's pretty relevant at times. So I'm just, I uh, thought I'd whip something up for tonight and see, see how it's able to, to perform. So we'll see how he, how he's he does. He's like the ultimate control, right? Like if you get there, there's nothing that puts up as much value as he does. So. Cool. Well, let's try this out. Um, I've got. You got some D6s, or what do you got? Yeah, how many? Are I got. We I have two. We can do two. Two. I got a five. Nine. Five. All right. You are first, my friend. Right. If anybody has What do any... you guys have going into Pipeline? I know you've been catching some of your videos on, like, the top decks, and, like, you've been doing, like, deck lists and reviews for them, so... 
you've gotten what three of them i think Maybe we're four? at four done um i think i think the other two we need to do are Aiden and Chirrut, and nobody nobody really plays those so we'll have to we'll have to get somebody to interview you know and it's like i think the other thing for me is i'm a little bit like i i think i want to make start making more like um, strategy type videos like how to you know how to make good decisions and stuff when to take initiative when to hit the base when to you know use your ecl when to like i don't know i feel like that would be something i'd be interested in doing We'll definitely finish that series. It's about like finding the time and stuff like that too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know there's like the content creators out there that are like trying to make this, you know, trying to blow up their channel and posting every day. And I just, it's not, it's not, it's never really been what we, we've done over here. It's just, it's something we do for fun. Yeah, it's tough to get it every, <laughs> every day. I'm trying like one a week and it's tough sometimes. I'm not really sure if I have a, a game plan into cheer root here. I what? can see uh, I can see a little bit of the angle oh. of your card thing. Oh sorry. It doesn't uh, really matter. I I'm pretty sure it's gonna be quite a quite pretty quick game. Actually I think I need to mulligan. I need one I need a power more powerful card here. You mentioned the last year we're going to be Chirrut and Aiden, and I'm surprised you say Aiden because I kind of tuned in last week and you were having a conversation about Aiden mm. versus Krennic. You were very right. much on the, the Krennic side of things. Well, for, for like traditional control, I guess, like blue green. I don't, I, I do not have the reps. It's more about what I, what others perceive as the top decks and would like to have content around i think is a little bit it's not like i'm deciding it's like i think it has been decided but i don't know i i've i've just i've been blown out um i've been blown out by both of them let's be honest i don't know <laughs> so yeah I th they're they're both good decks and they both do very similar things all right your first so. act there my friend all right so I get to choose what side space is. Yep. So left is space. At least my left. All right. A wing. I'll take initiative. Great. Uh, okay. Maybe. All right, let's do our ECL consortium in there. I don't know if that's... It's brutal for me, actually. Good, but... No, that's good. <laughs> I'll uh, talk in town it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the counter is uh, Tarkin Town to that ECL, for sure. And I'll take initiative. I'll pay the world's loneliest wing leader. Oh, that's pretty sad. Yeah. That's why it was very punishing. And I'll pass. Mm -hmm. I've got a pretty sad, pretty sad. This guy's going to be pretty sad, actually. He's a he's a non ambushed escort skiff. One ambushed escort skiff. McBob, are you there? It's like a little. It's quiet. I am here. I've just been trying to work on uh, getting my oh, okay. set up here. Already. In it. But I, I did see the uh, the lonely wing leader with along with the lonely skiff. So that seemed like they fit together. Bobby's half our wild game, boys. <laughs> yes, kind of a <laughs> quite the. Quite the interesting first couple of rounds here. I'm going to go ahead and take initiative. All right. You take two. Okay. I have and I will pass. To use. Eh, where's my counter? I guess I got to go to this. Oh, here it is. Nope. Got to 
is this guy, I guess. All right. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And you got the chariot coming out this round. Bad things happening to me. It's resource. Eh, what's resource? That guy. I think I just have to do a barrage to kill the two units there. Okay. Let's bring out Chirrut. Okay. I'm expecting some healing. But what if what if you don't have any of it? <laughs> what if, what if you don't have it binds all things, Jedi lightsaber, I don't have any of that. You just whiffed. Just you know, whiffed. two three offsuit in your hand. That would be. You didn't draw any cards. Yeah. I'm going to just do six to base. There's <laughs> like no point in even trying to kill this. I took six. Monstrosity. Cards in your hand. Uh, four. I will have you discard one of them. Um. Super laser. All right, let's go three at your guy. And I'll take initiative. I will do a fourth is with me. Okay. Give him a bunch of cardboard and hit you for five. Alrighty. And pass. Alright, so speaking of the um, tips for strategy and things like that, do you have any um, any advice just for players out there, just based on what you've seen so far in the early stages of this game? Just mistakes people are making, common mistakes, just general kind of like, if you did this, your game would improve kind of thing? Like what comes to mind when you're prompted with that kind of question? Ooh. All right, I mean, the, maybe the first thing that would come to my mind is a common mistake is not knowing when you should be taking initiative versus playing more cards, I think, or like doing more actions, I think. It's, that would be a big uh, upgrade to a lot of playing is being okay taking initiative and not like doing everything you can on board, like swinging in that wing leader for two damage or something instead of getting initiative or mm -hmm. playing your la your last two drop or something. And like, I think being able to lead sometimes the next turn is so incredibly powerful that um, mm -hmm. you don't always need to play out everything okay let's go ahead and do 40 or base you have six resources i should probably keep track on this overlay i always forget so i've taken i have taken seven and what do you add on the base count i've taken 10 you're the aggro it's like wonder what you I'm gonna put a Jedi lightsaber. Mm. That is scary. Um there's something uh, less stressful about not having to play around power of the dark side. Right. Um it's getting big. Let's put a seasoned short trooper down. 
All right. I'll fleet lieutenant. <laughs> uh, I'll hit you for 10. Is that how much I take? Yeah, he has two experience and a saber, so that's eight. <laughs> Oops, I, I think rebel. I have to, So now I have to claim. Uh, yeah, for, you've taken a... 17, right? So sure it is lethal. <laughs> <laughs> I have to claim it over a sentinel. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the, the Voltron turret dream. Just living it. Living the dream. Yeah. You, you claim on <laughs> Oh man, I don't lose. I mean, his whole hand's probably removal at this point. Oh, he must have drawn a sentinel, or I got something. It's you know, it's gonna be pretty easy for you to deal with, I think. Who's that other guy next to you? He's a fleet fleet lieutenant. Okay, yeah, you're just gonna be able to kill me with the fleet, so. I've got the gladiator, but you've got an answer there on these because, chumps. Yeah, the, yeah. All right. Palp couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle the the burn. I for the first couple of turns, I was like a little concerned. Like my turn two is real <laughs> bad, and then maybe if we played this again, I would. You know, maybe we do it later tonight. I I just need to put a sentinel down. Just let you blow that guy out. That could be a priority of mine. Nick Bob, are you ready to jump in here? I think so. All right, let me get your video added. See here. Just a quick standby, everybody, while we get things sorted here. I'll run a couple with this and then switch decks just so I don't have to like keep taking things in and out of. True that. Buddy, let me do this special thing. They wouldn't hire me at ESPN, you know. <laughs> is that a green chewy? It sure is. It's a green chewy. The new meta. Oh, yeah. When did you become a meta gamer? I mean, if you saw the deck, you might not think so. <laughs> Is it aggro? Chewy aggro? <laughs> uh, not. I mean, it's chewy. It's more control. I don't know if it's going to be as much as yours. Thirty seconds, everybody. Pretty close here. Okay. Would there be planning on going to some like big events next month? I think like May fourth is uh is a day so i have a case tournament at my local next saturday next saturday okay win a I case i don't have any big tournaments in my area moment it's it's technically not a win a case it's like that's that's the prize pool is a case worth oh, of cards okay. all right you guys are ready to start i'll just send your video links to each other there's Nick Bobber. And there you go. Mick it's funny, I, I tried to improve the lighting like on my play mat, so there's less glare, but now there's like bright lights on my face. <laughs> the constant struggle. All right, you guys can just shuffle up and deal. We're ready to go. I'm all shuffled. Yep. Somehow I thought shuffle up and deal was cued Garrido. 
<laughs> I'm gonna roll a four. All right, you can roll for me too. It's a five. All right. You appear to be first. And I'm going to take them all again. I've kind of got no uh, no two drops. I think it's only an RN poem, but I do hear a little bit of the echo that you know occasionally crops up. I've just heard it for a bit. Okay. Got to get that Greedo to go away. It's like stuck on the screen. <laughs> Can't get rid of the guy. Um, Badger just for, pulled his first boba. Congrats. Nice. Oh, and it's a foil. Nice. Stuff. All right, Take it away. Go. Okay. Let's start by playing the old Battlefield Marine, and I'll, I'll make him a Sentinel because I can. With a restored arm. I will take the initiative. I'm going to be AFK just for a quick sec. I can't quite see how many resources you got. Uh, you ready for the next round? Three. Cool. All right. That's usually how I, I look to see if someone's ready. So I look for the resources. Let's go three to your base. I'll do two to yours and heal one. I'll play Echo Base Defender, and I'll use Chewbacca to make him a Sentinel. How about that? I'll play a Yoda. I'll take initiative. We'll pass. I'm gonna run the uh, Echo Base Defender into Yoda. All right, I draw a card. I'll hit you for two and heal one. All right, let's do three with the uh, Marine. I'll give my uh, guy two health. Okay. Uh, I'll use Chewbacca to no effect. Okay. I'll play a Yoda. Back. You have yeah. one resource remaining. Is that four and four on the base? Looks like. Yes. Gonna use ECL to play Kanan and kill Yoda and mill you for one. You heal two from an Obi Wan. I draw a card. I will Tarkin Town near Kanan. I'll take initiative. I'll pass.
Sorry, are we at six and four? Sorry, I just lost track. Uh, it looks like two and four. Two, two. Oh, the heel. Okay. Now I'll start paying attention. Okay, let's swing for four with the defender. We'll give the restored arc two health. Swing for two for three with the marine. I'll hit you for two and heal one. I will pass. Play another restored arc. I'll use Chewbacca's ability to no effect. Oh, wing leader. Give two experience to this restored arc that had a big butt. So he's a four, five, four, seven. Four, seven. He's got two health from shirt. Oh, right. Uh, I'll pass. I will take initiative. All right, next round. All right, ready? Yes, sir. All right, I'll floor you and heal one. I'll put me to eight. Me to nine. I'll swing for four. I'll attack you for two and heal one. I'll swing for a three. What are your goals as a content creator? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to do it for fun right now. There's no, like, big goal. <laughs> it's like a hobby. Certainly not like a monetary thing that I'm trying to go for. And, I don't know, just see, like, kind of, as long as, like, I enjoy the game, I think it's just something that could be fun to continue doing. I think I should be at nine, right? Did I screw up somewhere? I think you should be at ten, right? Because you were four. I hit you for four and then two. Okay. Yeah, I think I missed that. Did, I think I, because of that question, I might have missed the state. Did you take the last action? I'm still thinking. Okay. What am I at? I think I also messed up. So... Yeah, I was so busy looking at your health because it looked wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, it is I don't know what it should be. So I, like, I don't I think would... I did 18. <laughs> no, you didn't. You did. Um, Because <clears throat> last turn, I started at. I healed back up to eight. You hit me for four. That's 12. I went to 11, and then you hit me for three. So that's 14. Okay. Okay. It's always tricky for me to track the dice because I have to like do a lot of math. And you're at what? <laughs> I'm at ten. Okay. That's what you told me. I thought it was nine, but ten sounds fine. Ten sounds fine to you. All right, I'll hit you for two more. Okay. You got six resources ready to go. Yes. All right. Uh, I'll pass. I'll play an Obi one. Okay. I'll vanquish him. 
put to experience on the one that's already big. I'll take initiative. Okay, I will pass. Wu, um, how would you go about describing your play style? That's a tough one. Um, well, I'm hyper competitive. <laughs> so I really just often just try to find what I think is the best to play. But at the same time, part of me really doesn't like being super reliant on like playing mirror matches, especially when I think when I can't figure out how to crack the mirror match. So it just feels like pretty random to me. So that's where I often will go into like slightly off brand decks that I will try to target that. So like, right, talk about Boba Fett. I played that a bunch in the beginning, it's obviously very strong, but I think the Boba Fett mirrors are kind of just uh, like swingy and not much player expression. So do I want to go into a tournament where a third of the field is playing Boba Fett and just like coin flip with a bunch of people? Or do I want to try to find like something that can beat it while also like surviving in other areas? And so, yeah, like I obviously am like very focused on winning <laughs> as much as I can, but I don't want to just like be what's already winning. I want to try to beat what's winning. Cool. All right, where are we at in the stack here? Who's up? All right, we are with me, and I'm going to hit you for six and heal one. I'm at 13. You are at 18. 18. Let's swing for more. I am at 17. I will Fleet Lieutenant the Restored Arc. Hit you for four, heal one. That'll put me to 21. Oh, wait. 22. That's what that is. Not looking good for Mr. Chewbacca. You're making me want to pre-board my no good to me dad and my yellow bubba. <laughs> I'll pay seven for Luke and I'll kill the wing leader. My my local does best of ones just to like get us out, you know, like not yeah all night. mostly. Like I went a couple times to the local for draft and they also did best of one, but last week I went somewhere that did best of three. I take that back. That didn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, instead, I'm gonna play a Sentinel Restored Art. I think that's better for me. Yes, yeah, so we're doing best of ones. I talked the owner into letting us pre-board. You bring in 10, you put it on the table, you look at their leader, and then you can pre-board for the match. He said we did a vote and everybody was cool with it. That's scary. Yeah, I'll, I'll finally bring sure it out. All right, I'll, I'll do the takedown. Okay. Yeah, you're tapped out, right? I got one re remaining. One remaining. Uh, I'm going to take initiative. All right. Good game. Good. You want to run it run it back or put a new deck on? You guys can play against each other again. Yeah. Let me. I'm going to either way. Bring something else out now. Cool. Just, yeah, just do another one. I don't think we're going to go like into burn the midnight oil tonight just, just with the three yeah, of us. But... East Coast, obviously, too. So. Yeah. So you mentioned earlier, Wu, that Chewy Green is meta. Does that mean he's like a top deck these days, or is that a joke? 
No, I mean, I think it, it, I saw like a tournament where it got Chewy Green went in a top eight with piloted by someone named Sarna. And then I think a couple of weeks after almost the exact same list actually won some event that got posted like a Chewy Green deck. So no, it wasn't like joking. It was just kind of. Well, I mean, and then Bobby at KTOD did a nice video on uh, a Chewy build that they put together. I mean, I think, I think Chewy's, you know. People I think it's taking... a good deck, but that suffers from a similar thing that most of the hero green decks suffer from, which is they are pretty big underdogs to um, the Boba mid-range deck. Darth Panda wondering if we're going to see any Han tonight. I unfortunately don't have a Han deck built, and it's hard to whip up something new on the fly. Yeah, on TTS back in the day. I mean, I I've got my mono boba. I can just sl swap a couple cards. <laughs> <laughs> swap the fire sprays. The yeah, boss, yeah the, I guess there's too many. The it's too many. Um, like I don't have a Han deck built, unfortunately, but I did trade for some Falcons today, and they should be coming in the mail eventually. Yeah, I don't really have the collection for a, a good Han deck, I don't think. I'm a little lacking almost everywhere, but definitely for Han. All right. A little behind the curve there. Ready to grind. Oh, is that... What am I... Is this Chewy again? Sorry. This the is Darth I... Vader oh. with Dark and Tab. It's Mono Red Vader, okay. Against, uh, yeah. against his master. This... I've seen this Red Vader. Okay, Wu. I, I mean, I'm I'm kind of doing the, like, Babe Ruth pointing, to, you know, for the home run, but I've seen this deck lose one game. Like, it's it's just, like, it's so... The, the ability to just kill whatever you put out is just so busted. I don't know. I mean, this is hard control here, so... It's very... It's very off-meta, off-brand, but it's just... It's so, like... It's just such a weird deck to play against. Like, you... Do you put your unit down on turn one and just you knowing he's just gonna blow it up? It's just like it's crazy. Good thing I don't play any units. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <You know? laughs> play units, but I'm looking forward to the mono aspect stuff getting unlocked further. Um, I'm gonna take a mold again with more card releases. Certainly, I think. Although mm -hmm. some of them are competitive, I think a lot of them. Are just missing a card pool. Yeah, I've been, I've been experimenting a little bit with just trying to jam some of the mono events in decks where they don't, you don't usually see them. Just because I think some of those are pretty good. So I think, a card like uh, I know people like like vigilance doing that with vigilance, but I I kind of like command. I feel like sometimes. Like I don't know, I'm I'm not like a Vader expert, but like, to me it seems good to like get your big giant Sith Lord in the, on the field around early. Like I don't know, you just you play the command, you give you know you kill something on the board, and then you you bring in your big Sith Lord around earlier, and then he kills more things on the board. It just seems good to me. I don't know. But again, I'm. I usually well, swim I swim upstream. I swim upstream with some of these weird ideas sometimes, where it's just like, it's gonna take me like uh, doing well with that in some kind of tournament or something to, for people to be like, oh yeah, you know, you're supposed to put Command Invader so he can deploy a turn earlier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think they're they're all good at four, right? Uh, like they're all very strong at four. Command commands thing about not being able to target unique is, is always something that kind of bugs me a little bit. Yeah. I think it could have said non-leader instead of non-unique and it would have been more uh, fair, I guess. Uh, who's first? Good question. That's what I was wondering. You want to roll again? or? Sure. I'll roll for me. It's an 11. Okay. I'll roll for you. It's a 3. I'll go first. You, you could have done better than that. So you won the first time. So. <laughs> I'm going to play an Inferno 4 and do the look at the two. I'll put 
Uh, I'm going to play a Snowtrooper Lieutenant. One top one. That is a sad Lieutenant. It's it sure like is. I'm private. looking for something better. Snowtrooper Private. Um, I'll take initiative. I'll pass. But I think your idea of like using command in like even like a red green Vader deck, it's interesting, right? You play it for six, it immediately does bring Vader out. I mean, Vader is very good. Um, an activation of Vader helps you seize control of the board state. As long as you have not fallen too far behind, right? So. Yeah, I mean. Hopefully, hopefully you've ramped prior to this as well, so this is not that late in the in the in the game, and you can help starting to start to take control. I mean, I just don't have the reps. Like I I know that people are grinding on TTS or whatever all the time, and it's just like I have not had a chance to really see through so many of my ideas. It's just like trying to find the find the time to really f test it all. You just lieutenant your lieutenant? I did. All right. I will take initiative. I'll play a stormtrooper. Pass. Got the uh, the fleet of weenies over there. Yep. Barrage, Gotta barrage bait. Up before the uh, like, super laser. Oh, or the barrage. You're right at five. Nice. It was just recent. Idea. So we'll we'll kill the three one. We'll kill one of the two twos, and we'll put one damage on the last two two. I'll play. I'm your father. It's gone. I will take initiative. I'll swing for two. I'm at six. Pass. Let's resource it quickly. Let's resource. I want to thank the late nighters for tuning in. Appreciate you guys still watching late night gaming after all these years. Even though it's probably most of my students and McBobbers. That's some new viewers too. Imagine unlimited would bring in a little bit of a different crowd. Yeah. I'll play a royal guard without sentinel. That's a sad guard. He's still a three five though. I'll do another lieutenant for four. They're all gone. I've, I've whittled them down. Yep. Don't have to deal um, with that guy anymore. I'm just gonna claim here. All right. I'll ping the royal guard and one of your base. Mm -hmm. And then I'll pass. You're at six. Six resources. Six yes, sir. I think you're one ahead, if, I, if I'm keeping track correctly. Yeah, from the least of one. All right, well, I will Vader. Got one, two, three, four, six. Commanding the First Legion. We found a death trooper. We will kill both the guys. Death trooper will shoot himself. Vader will take two from his hip. Seems good. My son today, he was like, Hey, Dad, Darth Vader basically costs four because he pulls a guy that costs three. I'm like, 
Yeah, pretty much, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I'll kill the Royal Guard and I'll draw a card. Well, yeah, man. It's a cool he's, story, he's bro. Strong. He's a, he's, it's a pretty, pretty good card. <laughs> I mean, by that logic, yeah. 5-7 ambush for 4. It's pretty good. I'll take initiative. <laughs> and kind of a card draw as well. Actually, and it like cl plays two actions at once. Yeah. Action sheet. <laughs> There's a reason maybe, he's the best card in the why, game. Yeah, maybe that's just why he's so good. It's like action cheating times on steroids. I'll ping the Death Trooper in one of your base. Unfortunately, I did not play around Barrage here, but, you know, you do what you got to do. You want me to Barrage your 3-1? Well, when I play, deploy my leader, naturally. I don't know why you would care otherwise. <laughs> just... Uh, hmm. All right, well, what's your deck building process? Do you um, respond to the metagame, or are you trying to build things that in have inherent um, internal logic and power? I think probably more the first thing you said. So, like, something can be powerful, but just not be a good fit for, like, what's being played around it. Like that is just like the luke green pet like issued right now which i think is just like a really good deck that is never gonna win anything while like boba fett is popular um so like i look at three things right now it's like the sabine aggro decks or leia the ones that are trying to blitz you the boba mid-range deck and then the blue green control decks and i try to find a place to start that i like I'll just pick one of them to test against and be like, can I beat it? Because if I can't, usually I, it, I start with like Sabine or Boba because they're, I think, more popular. So it's like, can I beat it? No? All right. We we'll probably don't need to waste our time much more with this deck. Uh, if you can beat one and not the other, depending on how bad you beat the other then maybe there's game to it. And that's like the pal thing, right? I think it absolutely decimates Boba. So it's like interesting because even if it loses to Sabine, it, it it like stomps the other thing so bad. It's the same thing with like the Vader green deck, right? It's like good against a bunch of the stuff, really bad against one of the things. I think there's a place for that. But that's yeah, that's how I'll start testing is like target a matchup, try to beat it. Make the best 50 cards for beating it. Can those 50 cards compete against something else? No. Let's take 10 cards out for that matchup and like start developing uh, a strategy for another matchup and then you end up with like 70 cards that you need and that's like how you build i build like my sideboard between the two of them like okay very um, much a very much i would say yeah like comparing you to like a mcbobber it's almost like he, mcbobber takes a different approach you know it's like the he wants the inherent logic right mcbobber I don't really know what that means. It's like you want you want the deck to stand on its own two feet and just be able to just be good. And then like other decks are trying to beat that deck as opposed to like you're trying to be able to beat a gauntlet. Like you want to create something that's just powerful, right? Is that what you're what you, the way you approach building McBobber? I guess it's it's like you know I I have a general sense of what's good. Um but yeah, I don't really like hard, do hardcore testing into those decks. I suppose I kind of just do it more in theory. Vader dies. I take two. Yes, sir. How did all of his guys die? Did I miss something? I only had one guy in play. I oh, only okay. had one guy. Oh, okay. The ruthless raider got him. Am I about to get double power of the dark sided? I'll take another two. I think I am. Uh, I'll do one with Vader at least before we worry about that. You still have, what, five resources left? Yep. Okay. I'll deploy an empty palp. I'll deploy an empty Vader and see if he uh, explodes. He does. And he does. I'll take initiative. I'll pass. You don't even want to hit me for four, huh? Oh, sure. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I won. I killed your Vader. 
<laughs> I thought, that's usually in my head. I'm like, you kill the end boss. The game just ends. Like, you, yeah, I killed your bear. We're good. We're done. You know, we're done. So I can just, I'll just pass. There is the formality <laughs> still, you know. Uh, I, I, um, I guess related to my next question, we've done an entire video on this, but um, I guess one of the cards I underrated initially and I can kind of eat my hat on is Palpatine. I was really dogging on this guy, but he does a thing that is good, you know? Like, he, he does have a purpose, and if you can get around the fact that he comes in so late and maybe try to, you know, work around that with either heavy mitigation or, in my case, I'm trying to work on, like, a ramp version... Um, you know, he can be powerful. So we, are there any other cards that you um, undervalued initially that oh, comes to mind? <laughs> I'm sure it's probably number one on that list. When I first read that guy, I just was like looked at the numbers and I was like, wait, 3-5, that's worse than 4-7. Uh, that was like the the beginning. Um. But yeah, I think I would have to put him on top is because he's like basically my favorite leader now. So, um, yeah, he he goes on the very underrated. Um, but there's some others. Like, let me think for a second. I'll just kill the fifth brother. Um, oh, they wanted to pop onto your base. I know we made that video a while back. I'm just trying to remember what some of your hot takes were. Cards. I underrated. Oh, force choke? You know? Maybe maybe Steadfast Battalion, uh, along with everybody else? Yeah, I... He, he's... It, that's an interesting one, because I, I, I still don't think the card is actually very good. I, I It's just so context specific right now right that seven magic number um the overwhelm two is kind of like i i just can't imagine when they printed that card they thought it was going to be an aggro staple <laughs> it's like i can't imagine that uh it's ambush and overwhelm is is crazy you know those things those things can definitely and the... Well, yeah, but Stack. the ambush, right? That's the energy conversion lab thing. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I'll play Baze Malvis. I'll take initiative. I think it's clear that energy Pass. conversion lab is problematic. I say that every week, but I think it's very obvious. Hasn't been so far tonight. Yeah, so... Steadfast, it's a weird, such a like, yeah. Obviously, I underrated that. I didn't even like look at it as a constructed card. It's just like I, I made, I like did draft analysis. I was like, yeah, it's a pretty good draft cards, like five five, like five fives are good in draft. But the fact that it does four to your base with Sabine is kind of just crazy. Yeah, two to pelt. Another one. I'm at, one. I'm at 19 now. Uh, I'll hit you for two. Eight. Uh, one to pop onto your base. I'll play a reinforcement walker. That's good. I'll discard a lieutenant. Game three. I'll take initiative. I'll hit you for four. Put me to 12. And then pass. Sorry, got distracted there. Where are we at on the base count? I have 12. I'm at 17. All right, I need to know some more numbers. Cards in hand, resources? Five in hand. 
nine resources. Okay. Base is another one, actually, by the way, that I have probably underrated. I think I kind of like the card now. That's what I'm going for. So, so tell us about what uh, Baze. Why do you prefer him over like La Child Sin or something like that? Uh, I think if your Sentinel can't get to five health, it's not really doing its job in this meta game. It's like there's a lot of four. There's a lot that deals four. K two. Um, Boba Fett boss, like specifically in the decks that I'm trying to beat, right? Mm -hmm. So Baze is just annoying for like a little bit on that Boba flip turn, right? He either needs to spend two attacks to get through it, or he has to barrage it, or he has to use his steadfast ECL on it, right? Those are the options for getting through a Baze. Um, they're all kind of okay for the most part. Um, Sabine too, right? You play it, has Sentinel. The second she has to attack it twice, basically, the second thing that attacks it is going to die because of the crit. It just seems to kind of stall a little bit. It's not a fantastic card by any means. Like, I don't think it's like some world beater. I just think specifically in those two matchups with a deck like Palpatine, every turn, like, if you're able to like delay even for a second to get that one turn further into the game, um, he can do well. And like, I'm playing him in Churret too. I think he, for this, for similar reasons for those two matchups. Do you find that his, um, prerequisite that you have initiative ends up being creating weird situations where you have to play suboptimally in order to ensure initiative not really actually not on the turn that it, he comes in generally against sabine and against boba you will typically have initiative and if you don't you play it and claim um boba fett on his flip turn takes a ton of tons of actions right if all you're doing is playing one card um not a huge deal like you might not have initiative for that one action but that one action is going to be him like attacking a super laser tech into something or deploying or whatever he does and then you just claim and it will have initiative you'll have initiative and like it's same with sabine you almost never she almost never has initiative um, if you're actually playing control and like playing one card and claiming right because you can't you'd never want her to start a turn with initiative um so I haven't found it to be that problematic to have him sentinel the turn that you need him to have sentinel. Okay. Thank you. I'll hit for six and I'll mill one, heal three. Card did you mill? Uh you are in. Okay. Sorry, I forget that you can't see. <laughs> I got you at eighteen to eighteen. Yeah. I'm going to spend three for a cell block card. I'll take down the cell block. I'm going to spend four for aggression. I'll kill Palpatine and Drunker. for two. Twenty. Well, I'm supposed to be the aggro deck, but you're ahead on the race, so I'm going to call it there, my friend. Good game. Good game. Cool. All right. Do you need a break? Uh, there, woo, or you want to keep just maybe do a couple more and wrap it up? Oh, whatever you prefer. Uh, do you right. want to like if you guys want to jam one, I'm down to watch and chat, or I'll switch I'll it just... back up again. If you guys want to go up again? That's that's cool. No, I'll just I guess I can jump in again. Let me just get my gives me a chance to get a snack. Snack pack. Gonna bring out Grand Inquisitor. Cool. I wish I had more decks built in paper, but I don't. Just a couple. It's hard to get a lot. Just the nature of things. 
Yeah, I have to move sometimes some cards between, but not like the legendaries. And yeah. This week I, you know, last week I um had gone hadn't won a game with my Tarkin deck at the local, and so then this week I was like, all right, guys, like I'm gonna. Like I just decided to like dunk on him, you know. I felt kind of bad, what, but what is, which with which deck? Well, I just brought like my so like the like last week I was like, um, hadn't won at my local with Tarkin. Like I went, oh, I lost two games and I had a buy. So then this week I brought like my mono boba and just like dunked on everybody <laughs> just because I felt like they would forgive me. You're a big fan of that mono boba deck. I think it's fun. I don't have any cunnings. Can't play it. I think it's. I just need more more testing because I feel like the meta has changed to be more um, control based. So I haven't really figured out the the list that beats it. And you know, as I shifted to a control build you've got grand inquisitor so we'll just kind of see how it how it goes uh one of my ideas is to to just like go thick with like like more expensive stuff just bigger stuff you know atsts and stuff um just because just to kind of like stress their mitigation a little bit like instead of drawing like weenies in the late game yeah, that's the, like, the boba problem in a lot of games. It's just uh, if they don't draw the their big threats. Um, yeah, so like I've been cutting down on like a, events. Like in this deck, I only have surprise strike and cunning in the main right now. I don't have enough reps to really know that this works. This theory, but you know, I beat like noobs on Krennic and Iden at the local. You know, anecdotal. Yeah, I feel like Bodhi is probably a pretty big card in those matchups. Yeah, main deck Bodhi, and then just like run it thick, and just it's like, all right, you just you just had to deal with my my you know fire spray or whatever. Now now here's an ATSD, here's a bounty hunter crew, and pulling back hunting. Like you just like just play stuff that they have to deal with. Again, it's kind of a, more of a McBobber theory than a Woo play-tested um, concept. <laughs> but it starts; it all starts with a theory. Yeah, I think it's like it's sort of like okay, like when Astrotech sees a resupply, you know, in his Boba Green, and it's like he's in the late game against Aiden, and he loses. Um, it's the same concept. It's like I don't want to be drawing like shoot first and. You know, just whatever. That's why you gotta play recruit in your boba green decks. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I know you don't really play much green though, right? You I don't really. Yeah, I don't really do. I don't really have the the green figured out. But yeah, similar concept to that, right? Like back, you were on that initially, right? So what happened there? Didn't we decide that wasn't correct a long time ago? Uh. I always liked Recruit, but did, like, I don't know. I think I got convinced that it wasn't good enough, and now I'm convincing myself that it is good enough. Um, that, I think Boba does just end up floating resources a lot, and Boba is biggest problem. It's a very consistent deck, and it's very powerful, but the, it usually loses because it's, like, turn six, and it's top decks of viper probe droid and a resupply or like yeah stuff like this right it's got three fire sprays and three vaders and right. then like nothing nothing else right like if you yeah. if you if, if they beat one of each of those cards and then you can't draw more um you can fizzle out so i think that of all the decks he, he that extra resource he generates sometimes lets it come in and like Mm -hmm. You've got the Bosk synergy, right? Like, it's not... There's not zero there, so... Okay. Something, something to think about. Again, not like some hyper-powerful card, but just like... 
might be something oh. brewing there. All right. I rolled a six. Um, five. Enjoy. All right. I'll play a cartel smuggler. Seems like a good idea. Smuggler. I will take initiative. Pass. Attack you for two. Okay. Let's play a boba. Oh. I'll play a fifth brother. Okay. I want to approach this. You're going to do the thing, you're going to hit yourself, damage by two, and then you'll try to kill my boba. So I think I just need to pass in case you try to get fancy and then I can kill you with the. with the crafty. I'll claim them. I think you still might have my. Play area on screen, Tom, um, not yours. Oh. Whoops. My bad. They're missing the, the, the shellacking. Yeah, I could show the viewers my stack. Oh no, it's gone now. They don't get to see Sorry. it. Sorry. I had it, I just didn't hit the hit a button. <laughs> I, I wouldn't I wouldn't get hired at ESPN. You could watch me snack on a muffin while you're the way you're playing. What do I do? <laughs> this is awkward. What do I do? I'm drawing so poorly. I'm gonna jetta your Boba Fett. Okay. Let's do a cartel it's there. Exhaust. I think that's one of the interesting the things brother. about this game. Like, especially if you're playing aggro, it's like the opening draw is so huge. If you don't get the right stuff, it's like, you know, it's really hard to deal with. Like, I couldn't get the, I couldn't get any, a good turn one flight last game, and it, I felt like I could never come back from it. You exhausted fifth brother. I will attack. Your crafty smuggler. We will trade ships. Okay. What would McBobber do? Why is he doing that? I can still hit him with Boba. Either I can kill, hit either of these guys with Boba. Take no damage if I hit the Crafty. I think I'm just gonna kill your Crafty. You can ready your resource. I'll play a seventh fleet. Okay. Let's do two to base. I will force throw target you. Okay. Scary. How much money do you have left? No money left. Okay. Um, I'm 
All right, I'll, um, it's getting kind of blown out here with that. Cartel spacer. No kill crafty smuggler. Okay. Maybe I need to do frontier. I'm gonna do my frontier instead. I will still kill crafty smuggler. Okay. That's not correct. I can't make up my mind. <laughs> uh, I'm taking initiative. You can do your fifth brother thing. Already the fifth brother. And then I'll ping himself and ping Boba. Actually, does he need to ping Boba? No, he doesn't. He does, yeah. Ping self, ping Boba, kill Boba. Okay. Yeah, I should have. It's just like, I had the cartel to exhaust you but I don't know Inquisitor is just hard to deal with man he's a he's a mind bender just play Tarkin Town that's the answer it's true Tarkin Town man I love Grand Inquisitor but Tarkin Town existing makes him feel real bad alright let's do the ATRT to kill your guy. It's cost me four. Oh, how many cards are in your hand? Two. Two. Three. Are you ready to resource, right? I'll yeah. play a new fifth brother. Nice. Let's deploy. Is that the third, fifth brother, or the second? Second. And I'll force throw you. Um, that's your that's your favorite card, isn't it? It is. Defender. Defender. Let's put three into both effect. Okay. Then I'll kill your Inquisitor there. Kill your Muffler. Use and I'll shield. take initiative. I'll pass. You've done two two force throws already. Yeah. Hope you don't have another one. I guess. <laughs> I'll do four to base. I'll bring out Grand Inquisitor. I'll do three to base. And kill Boba Fett. Okay. Mm, I'll play the fire spray. I'll play a ruthless raider. I'll deal two to your fire spray and two to your base. Okay. Two there, two here, and I'll do five to base. Take initiative. Pass.
I've got three cards. I'm not resourcing. Um, let's see. Yeah. I'm not You're also resource. three, not resourcing. Yeah, same. So I'll do Ruthless Raider to kill Arspin. Okay. Two to take five. So I was at five. I'm taking. You've taken four, two, I think. Two more to base. No, this doesn't die yet. Oh, okay. So I'm at. Yeah. I have. I'm at five on on base. Five, wasn't it? Two from Smuggler, two from Raider. Where was the other one from? I don't know. I don't think anything I have deals one damage. So it should be four at my base. Okay. It's hard. I'm trying to update the overlay and do it all. I'm at 14. All right, let's take three more to base. Oh. Better lucky than good. I'll just play the third force throw. Okay. Let's do a seventh fleet. Yeah, and I'll kill the ATR key. And I'll do another fire spray. I'll waylay. Okay. Take initiative. I'll do three plus three. Ready. Three. So nine. nine brings me a 13. And then I'll play a Greedo. If I could draw a Cunning, you know, it would just be really, really nice. It's a pretty good card. I'd recommend drawing Cunning. I mean, personally. Cunning would just be... I mean, it's it's good, right? Isn't that a good card, guys? I think it's the best card in that deck, potentially. Better than Fire Spray, huh? Nah, maybe it's not better than Fire Spray. Um... Let's do change of heart on the Ruthless Raider. Ow. That's spicy. It is spicy. Jesus. So you could I mean, you, you trade them. Um... I'll do a Fallen Saber on Grand Inquisitor. Okay. Let's hit your... Uh... Actually, let me think. You're at 3, 6, 9, 12. I'll be at 25. Yeah. Alright, I'll kill your 7th fleet with the Ruthless Raider. I'll do 2, two, two damage. Eight. 2 damage to Greedo. The reefer one. Right. I'll hit you for six. I'll take. I'll pass. What are you at? I have seven resource resources, and no, I don't have. Uh, the life. Um, we're both at nineteen. So I've, but you have a uh, thirty house right? Yeah. But you do six six real fast. So I have to kind of have an answer. You've got how much health on that guy? Five. Four. So he has five health left. Mm -hmm. I don't I'm I think I'm just I just lose. I just think I just lose without without cunning or without uh drawing a, a cunning the whole game. But let's just play a fire spray. So I can resource that guy. I'll hit for six. Take initiative. 
Hope I draw a surprise strike. Yeah, I'll play Jabba. Looking for Waylay, I imagine. I am looking for Waylay, but I did not find Waylay. How much life do you have left? I have five life left. Make some none of them. We can get a sneak attack, but can't kill you with it. All right. All right. Show me show me the surprise strike. Is that a surprise strike? Nope. It's like a bony. Is that a surprise strike? Nope. Good game. Good game. Needed surprise strike or cut in. I needed surprise strike or cunning. I didn't see him the whole game. Just rough. Or shoot first, but I don't know if you play it. No, I don't have it in here. I don't know. It's kind of hard to win. It's kind of it's hard to win when you don't have the like events, you know, the powerful events. It's like playing a Sabine and not seeing it for a cause. You just get wrecked. Yeah. Um, that's a not get not finding either of those cards the entire game. It's yeah. Not coming. I usually don't complain about draws though. I'm not a big I'm not a big complainer. I'm a big complainer. Like usually it's like you lost cuz your deck isn't as good as the other guys. Let's like let's be honest. You know? You want to try this again? <laughs> eh, we could. Next, I mean, it's just I don't have one? that many decks. I have like a Sabine Green deck. That's all I got left. I I don't mind doing it go again. No, yeah, we can just run this one back. I mean, it doesn't really just, just beat me down again, Will. We got 20 people watching. Hi, people. I want to uh, thank Wu for coming on. He's a friend of ours. Thanks for having me. Proud of proud of Wu doing his own thing out there, making educate educating the general public. <laughs> doing doing what I can, hoping to. Always happy to have Will around. Get as much out as possible. Begon then... says, thanks for streaming, guys. You're welcome, Begon. Nice name. Nick Masson asks, what's strong against Pal Blue right now? Art aggro. Uh, yeah, I, I think you just bring an aggro deck and that, that Pal Blue cannot handle it. Badger's still Definitely listening. Just sorting the box I just ripped into my collection. Okay, cool. Thanks for I listening. I would call Badger. it like a buy for aggro. I would just call it heavily favored. If that's yeah, Ferex nineteen panics when sees Leia. Yeah, pretty much. Or Sabine. I just don't. I, there's just not. There's not I'm a. Com much more scared of Sabine than Leia, primarily because of the energy conversion lab. If they can get through your Sentinel the turn you play it, that can sometimes be a huge problem. I mean, the Tarkin Town can do it too. It, I don't know. Her coming out a turn later always feels a little, a little more uh, nice on the soul. Yeah. yeah I was curious. Where, where do you fall on the aggro power level? Is it Sabine or Leia on top? I think it's Sabine personally. I think the. That's how I've always felt, but I know there's, there's definitely some Leia fans out there. I think the, the Energy Conversion Lab is a big tiebreaker when you've got Steadfast Battalion coming in for 7 or whatever, and like K2 is a great ECL target. And, and as much as like Tarkin Town is like a soft answer to ECL, it is still... Be, it still puts you behind because they got their value and you're just responding to their value as opposed to like I'll play the Outer Rim Headhunter and there's tons of comments here in the chat I can read some of them um, Nick said a pal blue top 8 this uh, in Atlanta today waiting for the list uh, Badger said where are all these pal mains and why aren't they in my league he's a Leia main 
<laughs> Nick said, been playing a lot of Boba Green and Vader Green, but Leia seemed interesting. Nick said, um, oh, he's giving us the entire top eight. Okay. Green Palp, uh, let's see, blue three? I don't know what that means. Uh, Vader, oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, okay. Sabine Green, Palp Blue, Blue Vader, Boba Green, Krennic Green, Boba Yellow, Sabine Yellow, and Iden Green. Okay. That was the top eight. They split from what I heard, so they didn't actually play the top eight. They just tied. Gotcha. I'll take initiative. Oh, pass. It's like I just need to start trying to get this mulligan for counting. Like, um, let's do. Better finish resourcing. Let's do Bodhi to kind of peek in there and see if I can grab that force throw. Yeah, I have a force throw and a sneak attack, and I have a fifth brother and a ruthless raider. I don't really like the sneak attack ruthless combo. I really don't like that. But I also don't like force throw. I think... Yeah, two combos. The guy within a bet that goes with that guy. I think I'm going to have to take out that force throw, though. That's just a little too annoying for me. It's too good. Yeah, it's probably accurate. <laughs> um, all right, I'll, uh, I'll hit Bodhi. Okay, Bodhi takes a little bit of a hit there, and I'll go I ahead and take the fifth brother there. Uh, I don't know. It's not a tough call. Take what? It's fifth Bodhi. Brother. I can I can only take an event. Oh right, right. It's not Spark of Rebellion. I mean, come on now. Uh, two to base. You're right. You're right. I'll play the bro. And I'll take. I'll uh, wake up the bro. I'll mm -hmm. attack you for five and ping Bodhi. Okay. Bodhi dies. I take five to base. That seems pretty good. I'm not I'm, I'm not a mathematician, but um, that was not fun. Hmm. Great. This isn't great. All right. Let's do the cartel on the fifth brother. I'll hit you for two. at seven and I'll play a Greedo I'll play a Bib Fortuna okay I think I'm gonna take Although you could, hang on, you could hit your bib and then kill my Greedo, negating my plan. One second. Um, yeah, I'll just hit two to base. I'll just do the, do the bib ready to kill my Greedo, which is probably what you're going to do. No, I'm just going to aim, actually. Definitely doing five to your base. Okay. Um, let's hit the. Who am I hitting? Let's hit the crafty. 
and see what I reveal. Not very many events here. What's your life total? I'm at twelve. Five two. All right, I will do a sneak attack. Ruthless rate. Okay. I'll do two to the outer rim. And two to the base. Okay. Let's um, do the bouncer on that. To up to 15 on my base. Let's deploy Boba. Did you claim? Yep. Okay. Um, let's kill the fifth brother and ready to play a cartel. And do board a base <laughs> and draw cunning, hopefully. <laughs> Come on, cunning. I took two from fifth brother, sorry. So this is a pretty scary round. You get your your guy, you're gonna play a thing, you're gonna ready it, then you're gonna play it, you'll get your guy and attack and then ready that thing again. Seems like bad things are gonna happen to me. I'm gonna deploy. Okay. You're gonna force throw me. Not sure what to do here. Not quite a bit of damage potential showing here. How many resources? You got six resources? Yes. Um, let's take the three to base. Fifteen, right? Oh, or is it sixteen? I'm at fifteen. How many are you at? Eleven. Okay. I'll sneak attack a ruthless raider. Okay. I'll do two to the outer rim and two to your base. Okay. Dead. Two to base. And then I'll play the bouncer on it. <laughs> Cantina bouncer. Kicking those ships out of the bar. Hit you for three. Cantina Bouncer also protects the airspace, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, not sure if, what, what happened there, but I had so I had fifteen on my physical counter and seventeen on the overlay, and then you hit so for three. You took two from the ruthless raider, so you should be at twenty now. Okay. Thanks for the. Clarification. So let's do four to base and ready to okay. 
I'll hit you for one. Yeah. I'll do two to base. I'm taking the shit. Two more to base. Play a boba and hopefully draw cunning. I have six life left. I don't think I could pull this out. You're twenty one, right? Um, twenty one. Yeah, because you only need two actions to kill me. Uh, uh. Yep. All right. You got it. Yep. <laughs> Couldn't find a time to use Jetta that game. I haven't seen a surprise strike or a cunning and... Two games. Weird. Didn't need it that time. Those Cantina bouncer, bouncers kick some, kick some <laughs> butt on those ruthless Raiders, man. <laughs> yeah, counters the whole shebang right there. It's like, wha-bam. Get out of here. You can do not belong. All right, let's have McBobber jump in here. Let's see. Two, two, two. You, you two going this time? Sure. You can take a bathroom break and we'll have you come back and finish up. Unless you want to call it. I got like half an hour left, so. Well why don't we just get you in why don't we just have you do another little quick session with McBobber and then we'll be we'll just take it take it sail us off into the sunset here. Sure, so I'll do the last deck I have, which it's not that much. I mean it's I didn't. But I gotta play with her because that's the showcase. And I make yes. nice. Bobber, um, is there a possibility that you're? Oh, never mind. Yeah, is there a possibility that your camera got bumped, McBobber? Which one? The gameplay. Oh, my, my plate. Yeah, hold on, let me fix that. I I had to recharge it because the battery was getting low. Mm -hmm. One sec. If anybody has any other questions for the man himself, woo, send them on in to the chat. We've got 23 people watching, so we got. I'm sure we can get a couple questions from the viewers out there um, while, while we've got uh, the man himself here. The man on stream. himself. The man himself. You know, he woo. came. You know, Ric Flair came out of retirement to. See the you know Ric Flair thing. You see, I, I did not make this name because of Ric Flair. I didn't even know who that was. That's where everyone goes. I know. Every I time I see you, that's always what I think. I just thought no. I... <laughs> <laughs> the bean yellow. Nice showcase. Thank you. Oh, where's my base? I should get one. I thought you didn't have a base just so that only the showcase would be on camera. Here, this card's pretty good. Oh, yeah. I people like that one. I have been told that Energy Conversion Lab is powerful. Yeah, especially by uh, Poem. Well, I about would... that being like the, the most problematic card. Yeah. Well, here's the other thing. is it's It's also one of the cards I was wrong about initially. Um, really? you know, I don't think I still don't think it necessarily gets slammed in every single deck. 
that screen. Um, there is there is some theories out there that don't need that if you have a lot of other ambush or something like that. But uh, that thing is that thing is a monster. Yeah, I, I remember we did our review of you know we did our card reviews as this comes out, and I was uh I was pretty hip on that card right away. I, th I think I said I was never going to play the regular green base again. That being said, I I did eventually play the regular green base again in a deck, but uh, not often. I rolled a six. All right. You rolled a five. You could have done better for me. I chose not to. <laughs> Started messing with Wu's camera and just I need to go it, first. If I'm angry, right? I'm gonna mulligan. I think he might still have your play area on screen, Tom. Oh, okay, I did that. Did that again, huh? I think it's fixed now. Oh. Sabine, you're playing Sabine yellow. be fixed all right we did get a question in from darth panda um wondering about your true deck and how it might play into the meta so is that a um, is it still kind of like a work in progress maybe need well, some more been cards doing or... more with it and i think we talked a little bit about the inclusion of bays I've actually cut the K2s from my current build. I have them in the sideboard for like control matchups. I just find that they're very mid against Sabine and Bova, where base kind of helps a little more there. Um, tweaked a few other things. I think the deck's in a really good spot overall. I think it can beat Sabine, it can beat Bova. I don't think it has any unwinnable matchups, which is something a lot of people like. Uh, it's it's kind of like a, a fair deck to play into most of the field. Uh, and I think I have gotten it into a bet. Like, Boba was always, like, the kryptonite. Um, it always felt a bit unfavored there, but I think I've gotten it a little closer with the changes. It's my favorite deck right now, personally. So I would recommend... I mean, you went toe to toe with my full on gas deck. I mean, you. The mono green palp? Yeah, that was tough. If that's the one you're talking about. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> we didn't yeah. play against we, we didn't. We didn't do that. Yeah, we didn't do that matchup. I'm yeah. Claim. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty, claim. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that your deck yeah, is. Anyway. And the pay. Is meta relevant? Like I, I don't Let's see if you uh, got this. Start by group. I think discard. You know the thing would like is very powerful. So I think if people are interested in in trying to, um, you know, figure out where to start with their deck building journey, um, I think you do. I think discard is something to consider these days to deal with control decks and stuff like that. So maybe like a Spark of Rebellion type situation or, you know, the Bodhi was really strong in that second game there that you saw. Um, hey. Yeah, so the, the... Wait, shouldn't you get two damage on your base? I healed from the... Sorry, oh, right, right, right. Okay. One. Well, I guess there's really no reason to ping either, but whatever. Take my licking. I, I mean, sure, red is the discard deck. I put post board against uh, Iden. I'll have three K2s, three force throws, and four surrenders. Just shred their hand. Good time. Force throw K2 and force surrender. Yeah, that seems like a nice little trifecta of hand hate. All right, let's trade. Okay. Oh, 
Thank you. All right. Would you plan on traveling to play in competitive tournaments for this game? Oh, right. You're blue. Okay, so it's it's power. Uh, you know what? If I can, like, it's it's tough with my work to take like big trips a lot of the time. I think maybe when like we get some of the like more see like the big, like once they actually start like the main main organized play stuff with the large, to larger tournaments, I'll probably try to time some vacations or something with with things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I don't know hoping... why I was thinking you're a red green. Because his showcase is like red, is like a red yeah, looking guy. The showcase is red. Do you need a it's take back? As simple as that. Sometimes you know you don't yeah, really. Do you want to rewind? Uh no, it's good. I mean, this game's over anyway, so. It's. I'll, I'll give you a little bit more chance to be up on me here. Here's the thing: like people thought, okay, like the Iden, okay, the Iden beat the Boba or whatever, and then the Boba beat the Sabine, but then the Sabine could beat the Iden. It was like a rock paper scissors, but I just don't, I just don't see it that way. Like. I don't the, either. I feel like the Iden beats the Boba and and the Iden beats the Sabine. <laughs> I think they're actually all kind of like I think Iden is definitely favored into Boba. I think the Sabine matchup's close. I think Sabine into Boba is also close. So I'm not even like I don't think any of it is really rock paper scissory. Um, I claimed you passed. Sorry. Oh, sure. I claim. Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna pass. Yeah, I'll pass. That works. <laughs> M. Peterson. Um, said just learned about the uneven top cut and the rules weirdest rules I've seen for the top cut playing another round to cut to 16 for players with the same record yeah I don't I don't know anything about that kind of stuff man sorry dude you could explain it to me but I just I'm going to show up and just try to dunk on people and not worry about no one can explain it to you because it doesn't make any sense <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, I'll play a Gideon Hask for yeah, so Peterson, you can try to explain it to me if you'd like. I'll later. I will take initiative. Is it sort of like there's an issue with like the tiebreaker scenario? So there. What's going on? Yeah, they're making it so that it's just record based. So normally, like tie breaks, like if if two people are six and two, the tiebreaker would be like the percentage of wins their opponents had, right? Like match win percentage or something. Yeah. So like. But here they decided that there wouldn't be any of that. So just everyone at six and two, if there's too many people in that record, like maybe they're the the like fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth place people are all six and two, then those people will all have to play like an extra round to like see who makes it in. Um, That's one for five. Personally, I like that better. I, I remember back in the Destiny one. days trying to, you know, worry Not about strength of schedule and all that. But you know. It was interesting because, like, it was dependent upon when you would got your losses. Like, were they late in the Swiss against the best get people, um, or were they early, you know, against Randy's? So I thought the strength of schedule did end up being pretty fair. Yeah, like before. strength of schedule. Yeah. Um, um, but I wonder, I wonder what their logic is there. Interesting. I think part of the issue with it too is that if there's an odd amount of people, they said they would take someone with a better record and pair them down, and you could actually lose your spot in the tournament. And, and that's like, if there was an odd, like five people at six and two, they would take one of the seven and ones and put and like pair, down pair them. And then if like one of the six and twos beat them, that person would just like get booted from the top cut. Um, okay, that that seems a little weird not a huge fan of so how do you that. how do you get paired what what causes you to get paired down on that <laughs> the match win percent, the opponent's match win percentage okay so like it exists only for that case it's... for that one person yeah. so yeah but i you know again even that one that one seven and one guy like when did you know comparing him to the other seven and ones when did he lose was it like at towards the end and he just lost to one of the best players, or he well, lose that, initially. Then he probably would be that tie break. Uh, I, I'll yeah, he wouldn't. Him. He wouldn't end up He'll being be the person. Him. So it's like, I mean, let's go. We're good. There's a lot of information here in the chat. I mean, this guy just like totally explained it. But yeah, I think we we got the gist of it there.
Yeah, if, if I misspoke on any of that, uh, let me know. I, I think like that. that like was a play in, my... like a play in round, basically. A play in round, yeah. Which would just extend a. I think also just the fact that it extends the tournament by an hour is mm -hmm. a little. Yeah. Because uh, th these will usually be like what six, seven, eight round tournaments, whatever a big event might be, and then. Mm hmm. Well, I think we. I think we reached the finish line there, if everybody's cool with that. Or unless you wanted to get one more in, McBobber, do you have a hankering? No, I'm all good. All right. So still still kind of finalizing our guests for next week, um, so I have to keep you guys posted on that. We do have a pretty robust guest schedule, but uh, next week's guest is sort of a little bit of a game time decision. But um, So I'll keep you guys all posted on that one. And once again, I want to thank... Wu for doing this with us and uh, thanks for having me it's a great time jamming with you sweet we'll do it again soon yeah he's always will badger said good stuff as always appreciate you guys watching and uh, if you made it this far you're my hero thanks for watching everyone